I saw the movie Space Jam A New Legacy. Space Jam A New Legacy released on July 16, 2021 in theaters and on the HBO Max streaming service. The movie is directed by Malcolm D. Lee. The movie stars LeBron James, Don Cheadle, and Cedric Joe. My rating for Space Jam A New Legacy is a 3 out of 5 and here's why. Space Jam A New Legacy is about superstar basketball player LeBron James who gets a unique offer from Warner Brothers to become the spokesperson of the WB-verse. After that pitch, LeBron James would say no to that offer. Not taking no for an answer, the head of the WB-verse who lives within the computer system, Al G. Rhythm, would digitally capture LeBron James and his son into the WB-verse. LeBron James' son would unknowingly be captive by Al G. Rhythm, where Al G. Rhythm would offer LeBron James a chance to escape by way of a basketball game. In order to escape as well as save his son, he would need to win the basketball game against Al G. Rhythm's team. There, LeBron James would have to recruit some loony characters to form a basketball team to beat Algae, Rhythm, and the Goon Squad. The scenario of how LeBron James gets transported into a different world is a different scenario from Michael Jordan's in the original Space Jam, but the concept is the same. There's a lot to set up the story, but it is just self-explanatory in the end. The movie did have some heartfelt moments with its themes of family. Some of these moments in the movie were kind of cringy to me. There are only some jokes in the movie that hit with me, but it wasn't laugh out loud funny. The rest of the comedy in this movie was not that great. LeBron James' acting in this was not that bad, but it wasn't good either. The acting and voice acting for the rest of the cast was good. The directing was good, could have used a little bit more help with some of the setups for these comedic moments. Visually though, the directing is good, the graphics are awesome, it's really cool. Because this movie had a mix of 2D with 3D, it was a cool way to look inside the computer of this WB-verse. Ultimately, it was the climactic basketball game that was really the standout for this movie. It's just fun to watch, it's like a cartoon. Overall, Space Jam A New Legacy was good. It was okay around there. The story provides a different scenario, but it is, in the end, conceptually, it's the same as the original Space Jam. That is my review of Space Jam A New Legacy. Please give this video a like, subscribe to the Spogo YouTube channel if you haven't, to check out more of my reviews as well as all my other variety of videos. And as always, Thank you for watching.